And we live in, obviously, glut. Constant glut of information where you have to focus on the newest thing that happened rather than the most important thing that happened. Oversaturating information is more effective than hiding it. And coincidentally, the only people who still believe in secrets are people who believe in magic and mystery cults or conspiracy cults. QAnon is, is soon to be the only remaining belief system. We like to believe that this is about objects, but we're stupid. We're, we're stupid primates to be believing in objects. We just don't like believing that we are stupid. We want to believe that we are the smartest, the smartest thing that exists. Seven, Which is nine, why seven, oh, this uh, AI is terrifying. It's terrifying to our primate level terror that we are special because whatever was real has been screened out of our experience. A computer can do things that you know, it's supposed to be our special ability to do. We can see very soon in the future that they will be better at the things that are supposed to make us us, which of course uh, invites the onset of the terror of the question, well, what are we then? And you can say, a lot of people will say this kind of crap. It's not, it's not truly creative. It's not real creativity. All this. It's not real creativity because it's just scraping together a whole set of stuff that actually creative people made. And to that I'd say, but isn't all of our art just scraping together and recycling and rehashing or reinterpreting other humans' art? We wouldn't even be able to conceive of the things that we conceive of as art without knowing what the history of art is. And it's the same thing with intelligence, uh, intelligence as writing, at least, when it comes to books. When we, when we write a book or read a book that we think is intelligent, excuse me, it's also just drawing on or scraping a massive data set of language and the history of literature and the history of styles and genre and the history of translations. So, for example, you can think, think of what we call reading comprehension in school. Um, this, is, this is gone as of this week. <laughs> reading comprehension in, sc in school is recite this text tell me what this text says in your own words bring different texts together and rephrase it and try to say something new add a new flavor to it scrape history for what it means is just what humanities education is and always has been and that's the same thing that 